Hey, what's good? Hey, you trying to battle? All right, okay. Oh, chat, they have a screen chat. Elisa with the rose is gone. I appreciate for the follow. Lisa with the hand part, let's go. Appreciate that, let's go. Check, check. Come on, chat, top screen, chat. Let go. Yeah, sure. I wouldn't mind doing that. <clears throat> That performance for your daughter's graduation reception. That would be so, cool. so it was good, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of communicating with the fans, but everything's good. I got back from class, RSI, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, um, did some boards tonight, hooking up receptors, lights, switches, ventilation stuff, and fans. So I'm just getting home, eating, whatnot. But yeah, let me. Go, I was just talking to one of my fans here. I'm gonna go ahead and add her in here. Um, I'm go ahead and screenshot this. That way I can. Keep in touch. I'm a dance influencer. I be dancing, you know. There is stuff like that. Bow, bow, hey, hey. Oh, you know what I mean? As we're doing that, even on this TikTok, you know, it's allowing me to go and spread that out there. So if you if you're following and stuff like that, then you know what I mean. I'll, I'll be doing the pop and locking, pop locking a Rolls Royce Cadillac, like it's a Mercedes Benz. Yeah, me. I'll be doing about. But I'm trying to get with the Memphis juking and whatnot. I'm from Arizona originally. I'm 26 years old. Shoot, just trying to make a living, man. You know what I mean? I'm kicking it right now. Got my roommates and stuff out there, so good. Yeah. yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate y'all. Yeah, good work. Good work right now. We got you running over here at 113. Where are you from? What's your name, man? Would you introduce yourself to the followers and the viewers? Hey, my mind. name is Weezer. I live in Mississippi. I play basketball and I like to I like to eat. <laughs> That's cool, bro. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Tell me something. Okay, so I was having a conversation right with one of my bros. He was talking to me about Mississippi. He's like, what's like the Mississippi River? What is so long that you read uh -huh. in the Bible? <clears throat> So, okay, tell me something. I had a conversation with my boy. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep it straight to the point. He says, like, this is an actual Egypt. This ain't America. Everything we're taught in books and everything that, you know, is nothing. This is Egypt. It's like the actual. I mean, there's a freaking pyramid on the dollar bill. This is like Africa. This is like people already been here. Melanated people. Copper skin colored people. Native Americans, Hispanic, you know, the African-American descent, whether it be 
they call it black. You know, I don't like using that term, but I mean, you know, I mean, I have no no, no racial discrimination or anything like that. But they say it's actual uh, Babylon, like an actual. I don't know. Then again, some people are saying it's Mars, like we're in, like this big old simulation and stuff. But they said the Nile River that was described in oh, good good wind by the way. They're saying the Nile River was like the Egypt or something like that. Do you know anything about that? I'm just curious. No. Nah. All right, because they were saying there was something like that. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, I don't mean to eat in front of you, bro. <laughs> but yeah, dude, if we down for a rematch, you down? Yeah, we can. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Get you some. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it was going on. So I was like, what, what are you talking about? He's like, this is the this is the land. We're all, we're all being tested. We all have our own certain languages that we can speak to a certain group of people. Like profit wise. Kind of like what Kendrick Lamar, do you are you familiar with the artist Kendrick Lamar? <laughs> yeah, he's like he says he's a he was a prophet and he talks to Metatron and Capernaum. And these were leaders and they were like Moses basically that led the people out. You know, and the Israelites in the Bible were the Blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, and we're like a cursed people. He was saying it in his album, Damn. And I was like, whoa. You know, crazy. Uh, <laughs> my bad, y'all. Getting all crazy, but this is the interest me. This is just like some real stuff, like for real happening. Um, like prophetical stuff is already happening, you know what I mean? So, uh, and then it was weird because like now I'm trying to introduce what this whole war thing is about, all this stuff, all this prophetical stuff, right? Um, people don't like to admit it. I mean, I got brothers and sisters that are part Hispanic. I got brothers and sisters part Irish, you know, um, all this. Uh, I got brothers and sisters that part uh, <clears throat> African-American descent. And I don't want to teach them, but, you know, they call it racism, but it's like a white privilege. It's like a, a privilege of white people that they don't, don't want to admit it. But until they do that there is something out there that has white privilege, you know, getting treated differently because of the color of your skin, basically, you know what I'm talking about. And um, if they don't admit that, they, meaning like the light skins, it's like they'll suffer from old age, sickness, delusionment, and just death in general. It, it gets that way because it eats up the people inside. That's why it's just like, it's so harsh, but then again, it's just like, I'm 26 years old, like I said, I'm young, but I, I'm I'm been trying to get back in that book. And dang, man, everything that last came out of my mouth earlier at the, because I'm going to a church and it's a Russian church. And I was telling them about that. And I left the preacher just like, you know, he looked away and everything. He didn't even know. He knew it was weird. But then again, he was like, you know, they started saying, love that people like that neighbor, love that brother and whatnot. Um, be, the, be the vine that has the grape and has fruit and um if you're not going to provide like information you're just going to get cut and burned basically and earned whatever but yeah i gotta keep it down because i got uh hey, roommates and whatnot. Do okay. yeah, doing that. But, uh, yeah it's like it. there's other distractions and whatnot that are around me and um uh, it's crazy i mean the evils you know i mean the 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 evil in it is the sin, the choice, you know, lust, gluttony, pain, or pride, anger, gluttony, sloth, greed, stuff like that, Bill Gates stuff, you know, um, lust, Jeffrey Epstein stuff, you know, there's a reason why there's prophetical, they're saying Burns in California, they have the money to do that, but when you get to a certain age, you don't really care about the millennials down here, you just care about, okay, everyone's going, I'm going to die, so I'm, everybody got to die with me. It's crazy, bro, it's like, it made me want to think, right, this is like, that's what I'm like, dude, it just comes to that love. But self-love, never give up on yourself. That's me. I'm like, dang. I don't really talk about it, but I think it should be talked about, honestly. That's why I, I, I had this conversation with this guy. And this same guy, we called him Lucky. Right? Okay, get this. His name was Lucky. We called him Lucky. But I looked at his Facebook one day, because so I was like, man, I wonder if he has a Facebook. It said Lucifer, in parentheses. I don't even think he was playing. I don't know if he was playing. <laughs> Let's go, Haley. It's crazy. Wait, you go. Good wins. Hey, all right. Back to the essence of the game. Let's go, y'all. Y'all. All right. Yeah, man. I just thought to ask. Mm. Hey, Sherry. Shady Russ. <laughs> What's up? I hope y'all know. I don't know anything, so I'm just learning, like I said. 
I'm trying to learn how to do this TikTok thing too. I'm not too sure familiar with it. You look good. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, uh, Sunny. Um, Sunny and the Roses. And um, hello, Peach Fest from Farmington, New Mexico. Farmington, New Mexico in here. Okay, cool. We got Mississippi out here. We're going to go ahead and shout out to Mississippi. You know what I mean? Young boy Weasel out here. Yeah. All right, cool, man. He's going to weasel the win. I already see it, though. Yeah, we ain't going to lie. That's good, bro. Oh, can't speak the language, man. Oh, Sherry, Shady Russ, Shade Russ. Oh, cool. Oh, I appreciate the love. Oh, I appreciate the the the, um, the little uh, butterflies and uh, uh, fireflies or whatever that was. <laughs> can't speak the language. I'm learning the language though. I'm gonna learn that Russian. I'm gonna learn that um, Hispanic, and I'm gonna learn. Uh, I mean, I'm quarter Hispanic. I'm three fourths Native American Indian, so I'm Navajo. I'm from the Big Tribe. Oh, hey, there goes the wind right there. That's what's good. Yeah, where do you go? He could he had to come back. Yeah, we can come right back to it too if you'd like. But it's up to you, man. I'll leave you the choice. But yeah, bro. It was sick, bro. That was sick. I'm gonna go ahead and follow you, Weasel. And if you yeah. would like, go ahead and check out the page if you'd like, bro. But anytime, bro, if you want to call me out on any like um live or anything, or if you if you hear anything about what I was talking to you, anything that kind of pertains to that information, dude, I would like to know, man. Cause I mean it's not it sounds conspiracy, but like it sounds like something, you know. Cause I mean, Native Americans, bro, we've been attacked like a long time. They're saying like that we had the highest growth of like people, you know what I mean? And our people are, like dying from alcoholism. And right now I'm in a sober living. You know what I mean? We they don't allow alcohol. They don't allow smoking. They don't. So I'm 36 days sober right now, just off of the meth and stuff like that. And guess what? Lucky, that had me that shit was laced with uh, meth. What? Let me tell you. You, you really mean like the crazy one, bro? I mean, who? How many people you like know that do this? I was doing this before that. That's what I mean. There's some devil in that. There's some evils in it for their own selfish greed. But other people, you know, they they have the answers and whatnot. So it's good to. I don't know, man. I, I, yeah, you know what I mean. Just to uh, stay focused on you. Get, get close with your deity. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, but yeah, we'll catch up with you. All right, later. Need to be talking. Oh, it's a uh, one of my um, bros from Mississippi. Oh no shit. Yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. M I S S I S S I P. Mississippi. 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 Honestly, it doesn't need to be talked about. Oh, it needs. It doesn't need to be talked about. Sorry. I mean, yeah, it don't have to be talked about. Honestly, I I get it. Um. To an extent, because. We have still a hundred, half of a, a hundred thousand, uh, I'm sorry, half of a hundred million uh, Native Americans that were um, buried and uh, destroyed on this earth. I mean, not destroyed, but like taken, killed, murdered, basically, from like uh, Eastern European culture. You know, everyone wants to leave in the past, but it's like, why are these things happening? It's like, because you are forgetting about the past. You're forgetting about the missing, murdered indigenous women, all the kids that were put in the boarding schools and things like that. Um, and when I was at this Russian church, they showed me what the refugees went through. And now, even speaking to Christianity life, they get jailed for it. You see what I'm saying? Like, no one's going to get away with anything. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I'm only schooling. I'm, it's only right that I do this and it's around me. So that's why I put it out there. Like I said, I'm not taking no sides. I'm not a national societist. I'm going to look out for just Native Americans, Hispanics, or whatever it is. You know, I'm not like that. You know what I mean? Uh, but it's out there. Just letting y'all know. And if you guys, you know, recognize somebody with it, you know what I mean? Just let them know. Um, may I make a suggestion? Consider some changes. You know what I mean? But that's just what it is, bro. I really need to be talking about stupid autocorrect. Oh, yeah, it needs to be talked about. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, that's a big thing about it. You know what I mean, hunger? I mean, a home girl. Excuse me, I almost said something. I'm, like, trying to talk to my audience, and then I'm, like, trying to speak for uh not directly to anybody i'm just speaking like in general like i'm, I'm trying to learn how to speak in, in public and in private and in person but anyway i'm i'm, I'm learning you know what I mean? slowly but surely i get there now let me get back to my food <laughs> that was cool
I need your information. Um, basic, um, basically a, a time and date, maybe an address. Maybe I can uh, download some videos and send them to you, and we can try and cooperate something. Okay, be cool. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do a performance. I just want to be able to have some, you know, good to, to give me some time to prepare for whatever day. And um, also location-wise, you know, I might need uh, a little more an idea, you know, about what I'm, what I'm uh, trying to help out at. Because uh, I gotta let my people know at the time. Like I said, I'm in a sober living, so a lot of the guys wanna support the sobriety. I wanna, so I believe this will help me and support my sobriety. So I'm pretty sure they're gonna be willing to help me out with it. So um, I'll go ahead and put this down. That's if they're about sobriety. You know what I mean? Some of these guys over here. Oh man, I can't even tell you. Can you, I'm gonna get in trouble talking. Mm -hmm. If you like that. Go ahead and send you a follow. OGD. Okay. Man, I look tired. My face is gone. I was working all day, so. Um, in Farmington, New Mexico. Okay. Um, I'm not too sure, but if you're not aware, I am living currently in Phoenix, Arizona. So. I may need the okay, yeah, July 19th, okay. That way I can try to figure out some funds. I'll be working by then, hopefully. I'm pretty sure. And, um, 2 to 9 p.m. Oh, okay, the reception, right? It's a, your daughter's graduation. Waiting reception. I don't mind doing that stuff. I'm like all in the mood. I'm about to just doing a groove. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cause that's what I would do. That's all I was gonna do. Hold up, wait. Let me get shoes. Okay. I'll get back to you. I have your information right here on my phone. I'm sorry, on the on the camera. So this right here, I'm going to keep, and um, I'll see what I can do with trying to make that happen for you, okay? Because I really want to help you out in that way. Um, this is what I do. I like dancing and stuff. Um, am I a lefty? No, it's just my camera. Just switched. I'm a right hander. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. Again, this is my right hand. And this is my left hand. Right hand, left hand. That's how you guys see it on the end of the camera, huh? I want to keep it this way. However, it's just adjusting the camera is different. So when you see me move this way. On my side of the camera, it shows me moving a total opposite way. Where am I from? I'm originally from Holbrook, Arizona. Proudly from Holbrook, Arizona. Where are you guys from? Hi, Ray Ray. Let me get out of here. Gotta work out of here. Okay, yes, God blessed you as well, and all best to you and your daughter and her successes.
Thank you, and keep making the world go around. And have a good night. Sweet dreams. Good evening, Mommy Linnell. Mama Linnell. You guys too. Uh, the supper. Well, right now I had some rice, uh, some vegetables with some hamburger meat, like a uh, ground beef. I mean, and also I warmed up two hot pockets. The uh, ham and cheese. I love hot pockets. Hot pockets. Good evening, my dear friend. Yes. Good evening, guys. I'm kind of eating. <laughs> but I wanted to check in with you guys. No, I didn't forget about you. And if you are on Facebook, or my Snapchat, or my Instagram, or my YouTube, I'll try to post as much as I can. However... It's just lately, recently, there's a lot of stuff um, being put out on the internet that um, I'm not too sure that I'm going to have to deal with, so I had turned off the phone. However, I do have some Wi-Fi, so I can get in touch with you guys here at home, where I'm safe, where it feels good. You know, I can, I, I can do that, so I don't mind. I see, yeah, it's a, it's a good school. Yeah, you, you got that, right? Yeah. Jamie Brown, Jenner. Enjoy your dinner. God bless. Oh, thank you guys. You guys are cool. Yes, good night and take care of you guys. I hope everyone take care. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to always be doing good. Um, you guys are in my prayers. And that's not a lie. You know, I've been, I've been just kind of fixing my relationship um, through therapy. Um, I have a lot of theories. A lot of things I've been seeing. I've been feeling. And, um. I'm really in question why, like, what is this? So, um, it's really interesting. Uh, in a good way. In a good way. I want to cry. In a good way. I want to cry for, for everything that's good. You know, I'm in school, okay? I got you guys. My fans. My family, my, all my loved ones back home. If you're watching this, I love you guys. I know I don't really text you guys nothing, but I really am trying to do things for myself this time. So please um, understand. Um, as an artist, it does get sensitive. It does get, you know, to a point. Um, I have to learn who I am, and I don't want to hurt nobody. But I want to come from a genuine spot, you know. Coming from a lot of PTSD and stuff uh, through my past, I'm learning to work that out with myself and to help others and how to do that. So, if you do hear anything that you like from me or anything, you know, write it down. If you got a pencil and pad, sometimes I just might speak some good stuff. So, it's good to write these things down. But I love you guys with all my heart. You guys take care. One of my favorite meals. Mm. Green bean casserole. I love me some green bean casserole. Some green bean casserole. Uh, <clears throat> and green enchiladas. Um, 
I like a uh, chicken fe fettuccine Alfredo. I like the um, beef and cheese um, tacos with flour tortilla. Well, not flour tortilla, like flour made tortilla. Man, you guys are giving me ideas, man. I'm about to start making some food. <laughs> I'm playing. I know how to make all these, too. Mm. It sucks I can't even do the evening cook sometimes. I'll be wanting to cook, but I'm just so burnt out. I'm tired. I'm going to school, too. So. Luckily, I got out early today. My boss was like, oh, no, you guys are good. Go ahead and take out. Check, check out. I'm like, dang, okay, somebody really happy or something? Or either he had a lady waiting for him to get him some fettuccine Alfredo. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah. And also, I used to like this um, stew. My grandma used to make this stew. It had spam, green beans, and potatoes. So good. Oh yeah, with fry bread. If I ever do make one of these, would you guys watch them? If I made like a TikTok for food? Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Wolfie24. I'm trying to catch up with everybody, so please hang in there, y'all. I love your content. I'll dance and keep moving forward. Stay positive. Stay blessed. Yes, likewise, you guys too. Stay blessed out there. Pray. You know, before you go to sleep tonight, forgive yourself. You know, forgive others and then forgive yourself. You know, um, and go to sleep with a pure heart. You do it like that. You know what I mean? And believe it. And you wake up tomorrow feeling good and refreshed. You know what I, mean? I hope everyone else is having a good week. You know, finish your weekend strong. If you're working out there, mothers, single mothers, single fathers, parents, anybody out there. Even kids out there, people out there on the street, whatever you watch in my life, bro, keep going. Keep hustling, you know, believe in yourself, you know, don't give up on yourself. Just keep going. Um, stay alive. Forget yourself. Use time. Keep a love. Stay safe as well, people. Let's forgive yourself. Use time. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll forgive myself. I know I'm not a perfect person. In, uh, in Romans 3, I believe 3.18, it says we all fall short of the, of the glory of God. So it's like, we're not all perfect. And either some way along the line, we, we've been tried just as much and we're not ever going to be perfect. The only person that's perfect is him himself. So it's okay to, to be what you can be, to do what you can as an individual. You know what I mean? We just got to have the courage to keep going forward. Regardless of what others think, regardless of what other people are going to say, do think about you. Don't let somebody else's thoughts portray by how you think of yourself. Don't let somebody else do the thinking for you. Do the thinking yourself. Talk to God. Get with the book. Start doing that thing. You know, read it. And if anyone wants to have read the Bible and you want to know how I'm getting all these blessings, it's not me. It's the Almighty upstairs. I, I didn't do any of this right here. You know, he, he's doing that for me. He's working through me. I just pray for him. Man, I do this. Can I run this? You know, can I really do it? He's like, bro, you gotta go to church. You gotta do things you never did to get things you never had. And right now, I'm just being patient. And, and that took a lot. But um, that's the key one, being patient. And God's gangster when he's patient. Let me tell you. Good night, prayers to you. Yeah, you too, Joey Wilson. I appreciate you. All right, and you guys take care of the kids. You know, be there. Get them to sleep. Get them to school on time. You know, help them learn. You know, help their, their mind stay productive during the day and teach them character counts. You know, honesty, integrity, responsibility, fairness. I know a lot of people aren't with, in my age, you guys aren't with the uh, principles. I'm from a millennial, but uh, I get it. Y'all can do that. Y'all can do that, man. But, but to me, um, I'm kind of just called for this kind of thing. Um, and I do care for my family members, you know what I mean? And coming from a lot of PTSD and stuff like that, you know what I mean? I didn't really have any doors open for me like that. You know, I had to kind of knock on the door myself. But, uh, 
Yeah, just trying to open doors more for myself with the willingness to do these things. So, yeah, I'm just being honest. You know what I mean? Honesty comes first in the principle. So, yeah, we love your videos. I'm pretty sure I love doing it for you. You know what I mean? A lot of that came from a place of love. You know, some of it's real love. Um, no real love. I can't. I can't front. You guys ever want to just tell somebody something, but you can't, like, you can, you know you can. Ah, now forget it. JL55, hi. What's going on? What's good, bro? You got to play some Return of the Mac again? Okay, yeah, we'll play some Return of the Mac. Yo, I'm back. My phone wouldn't let me play the Return of the Mac, unfortunately. So maybe another time. I stand to you, Antonio. Yeah, what's up? VMAC. What's good? Yeah, RSI all day. If anybody has any questions or wants to reach out to uh, go back to school, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, or refrigeration, let me know, please. That was good. Yeah, Washington Street. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no, it's fine. And um, we get those kind of tendencies sometimes, but it's good to, as long as you recognize them, the stress can be up there. But if you can, like, see those kids, you know, or look at an object right now that's in front of you, and you can see through it and know that you, you can see your thoughts and you get quiet in your mind. Uh, most of this stuff is, is uh, social media too. Um, try to turn off the phone and, and let let the sounds and stuff come to you and, and let them let them. Leave. It's basically all we can do. It's the only control we got. Because if we try to control anything other than that, we're just going to drive ourselves insane. Insanity. We learn slower. Even though we move fast, you can learn slow while moving fast. Just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. You know what I mean? I'm going to repeat that again. Just because you're doing a lot more doesn't mean you're getting a lot more done. So, you're not alone. It takes a lot of patience. You know, and that's, that's even a, a trained skill in it, in itself. Patience. And it starts with a lot of breathing exercises. Oh, no, I don't have no babies. I don't have no babies. I don't have no kids. So hopefully one day I could... I mean, I know someone right now that might have kids that don't tell me, but I don't, I don't, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind bringing in some other, you know, kids as my own. I mean, it's love, right? Yeah. It's crazy it is. Kids need love, too. You know? What's up? They need a good father figure in their life. Huh? Throw away trash. Excuse you, sir. Huh? Did you fart? No. It's only you farted. I'm sorry. No, I did fart. No. Oh. That's why I said excuse you. Sorry. <laughs> did you? You did. Well, oh, yep. Yeah, I smell it. That was me. Sorry. I did that. <laughs> sorry. I can not fart on these guys. <laughs> Damn, yeah. 
Yeah, definitely. We'll do another duet. You just go ahead and duet whatever video you want when you get on there, okay? Much love from Beeville, Texas. Okay, Texas was good. Was good, Texas. We're doing it big in Texas, so that's what's up. Keep it up. I'm gonna see y'all soon. Hummingbird Creations. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Yeah, we're making that money. Am I in the valley? Yes, I'm in the valley. I know, good idea. I'm in the valley of silence. Yeah, I mean. Protecting my soul out here. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> We're locked in. Ah! Come on, take it away. I get it. Some people want attention. Some people didn't get attention as kids. I thought it was the checky one. And it shows. But it was this one lady trapped in his house. Weird. Oh, yeah, Montana. That's what's up. Nice to meet you, Montana. I hope you guys are out there doing good. That's cool. So, yeah, I'm working on this online research real quick. So, I'll just keep it up. If y'all are going to school, shout out to you, man. If anyone wants to do my homework, I have 50 bucks in my pocket right now. Y'all just let me know. Am I at work? Yeah, actually. I am at work. I'm on clock out. No, I'm just kidding. I don't get paid for this. I'm actually doing this in willingness in my own time. So, um... I'm not trying to be a smart aleck or nothing. But yeah, I'm doing some inner work healing. But employed, like work, to get me on a payroll, I have not yet reached that yet. But I'm definitely working to get there. Guarantee I'm going to get there. Yeah, right now, I'm just, uh, you could say I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing what my new job was going to be like. You know what I mean? So, I'm just uh, steady. Steady moving, steady doing these steps. You know what I mean. So, yeah, I don't get paid. Um, I don't gotta pay rent where I'm at. You know what I mean. So, there's no really need to work. Um, I get Wi-Fi. So, in order to talk to you guys when I'm chilling, like now, this is this TikTok. You guys pay my expenses as well. To get these videos out, to get these videos in a, a different light. Um, I've never done anything like this. Uh, never seen how I was going to be without a job or anything for a while. So, it's, it's different. I'm a task-driven individual. I mean, I'm a workaholic. But, uh, yeah, it's like having my mind catch up with my body is so different. It's so uncomfortable. I don't like it, not one bit. I feel like I, I I have to be doing something, but I try not to do anything. Like, it's it's almost bad. It's just the way I was brought up. It's like, don't be lazy. You're not bored. There's just You gotta find something to do at the house. There's always something to do at the house. There's no such thing as being lazy. That's how I was raised. So it's hard to just lay there in bed sometimes. It used, to, it used to piss me off just to see someone sitting there, laying down, not doing anything. It's like, how, I, 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 you know, my mentality went from, how are you going to be that lazy? Get up. You're a grown person, adult. You should be up when the sun is up in the morning. That's the kind of person, that's the kind of people I grew up around. They're nitty gritty people. But to me, it's a behavior. That's just how others were raised. They were raised that way. From their grandparents, well, my grandparents, you know, they're, they're, or, you know, you can take for example, maybe some of your people know what I'm talking about. It's like, um, being on time, 
waking up before the sun comes up type of thing. That kind of family. And um, it did make you good because it, it just basically taught you to be productive during the hours of 5 in the morning to when the sun goes down, which is in the winter at 6 o'clock and then in the summer at 9 in the evening. So it, it's, it's, a, it's a difficult task to not do anything. It's, it's so hard. Oh no, it's on another level. South Africa, greetings all the way from South Africa. Love your videos. Hey, Cody Kato's, we're going to go ahead. I got you in here. And if you guys would like to, please follow each other in the comments. That way you guys can stay linked in, you know. Um, yeah, I appreciate it. All South Africa. I love South Africa. I would love to go out there and go see the South um, Ocean. You know what I mean? The South o Ocean out there. Um, I want to go just travel the world one day. I just want to go out there and just experience what life is like, you know, like, uh, great moves, right, oh yeah, no, yeah, I'm gonna go to school for, I'm going to school for electromechanic technician, so I'll be working heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration, right now, currently, we're practicing how to hook up light switches, receptors, and uh, fans, and lights, I already said lights, sorry, but yeah, I'm going into phase three pretty soon, so I'll be trying to, uh, um, I mean, uh, the course helps us understand how air conditioning systems are going to work, and refrigeration, such as freezers, um, you know, stuff you find in your uh, refrigerator when you open the door, that, that cold stuff, how it stays cold, stuff like that. So yeah, it's just, uh... Motivational movies I would recommend to watch. Okay, Ray Ray. You got a pen and paper? Because I'm about to let it all out right now, okay? Oh, dear. Incomplete spinal injury. Oh, you are beautiful. I like your bio. Okay, so a couple movies. Me, the movies I'm into, I like uh, based on a true story. Me, the type of movies that I'm into are the based on the true story movies. I grew up on stuff like Dances with the Wolves. I grew up with uh, like Titanic. I like those kinds of movies, but uh, I wouldn't say too motivational. Uh, my kind of motivational movies was like Tombstone. Okay, Val Kilmer. <laughs> you know, that was my motivation. You know, Al Pacino, Tony Montana, you know, Scarface. But um, if you're on the real, you want some motivational, Rocky. Try some of the Rocky movies. Rocky was good, you know. He talks about somewhere along the line you changed. I watched you grow, but somewhere along the line you changed. You start letting people put their fingers in your face and tell you you're nothing. You know what I mean, that guy. <laughs> what did he say? He said. Now, if you want to go get what you work, go and get what you work. But you got to take the hits. And when you fall down, you got to get up and hit harder. And you're not a worthless people. Nope, nothing. You're better than that. I raised you better than that. You're better than that. You know, that's motivational right there. You know, Al Pacino. I mean, not Al Pacino, Sylvester Stallone, okay? Other movies that were inspirational to me? Uh, I mean... The, the movie that really got me too was Over the Top with Sylvester Stallone. I don't know if you've seen that, but check it out. Over the Top, it's where Sylvester Stallone um, picks up his kid from the uh, military. And basically his son is kind of like grown and brainwashed from his, uh, I guess the mom's side of the family. The grandparents, they were saying so much stuff and keeping so much letters from his dad apparently. And they're saying your dad didn't care about you. When all in reality, the dad was trying and trying to get a hold of him all these years, and he never got a response from his own son because his son was being under guardianship of a whole nother, you know, um, family, what they were saying. And dang, it was so motivational how the dad didn't give up, but yet he ended up picking up his son. He was the only one there, and his son had this resentment build up from him ever since he was young, and he has this attitude developed, right? But he ends up, like, fine. he gets taken, like, the the... The, this family he came from, the, the, the young boy came from like a wealthy family, so the father was paying these people 
to go and set obstacles for him. He was paying all these guys to take this son back from the dad and to bring him to the house. And it was crazy how Sylvester Stallone goes through all these crazy trials and tribulations, bro. And he, like, ends up going... And he's like, ah, oh, you gotta watch it. It's so motivational. Like, it's like love on another level for men. Like, for real. And he teaches his son how to drive. He teaches his son, like, how to work out and stuff like that. Eat healthy and, like, stand up for himself and not be scared or crying about anything. You know, being, like, wimpy and stuff. It was pretty motivational stuff, bro. Um, what's the T? What's the T? I can't tell you the T. Um, I can only drink it. You know, I can't spill no more tea. I'm just gonna have to drink it. That's all I'm gonna tell you. That's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> I'm drinking the tea. Good movies. Yes, good movies. What else was motivational? Um, not gonna lie, I think Fast and Furious, the first movie, Fast and the Furious, was like one of the best movies I seen growing up that helped me through a lot. Um, some other ones would have been, I'd say, uh, oh John Wick. I like John Wick movies. John Wick is just hard, bro. Check out some John Wick movies. Uh, Mr. Brooks. I think Mr. Brooks. Um, All About the Benjamins. I don't know if that's a a motivational one, but I don't know why that came up out of nowhere. Just All About the Benjamins. That's just a good one. Your invitation's cracking me up. Did you like the invitation to Rocky? Yeah, Yeah, great movie. It's good, bro. I like imitating my actors, bro. You know who's really uh, funny? I like watching growing up? Chris Tucker. I love me some Chris Tucker, man. Chris Tucker was funny. That cat was a funny cat. Not only that, Vince Vaughn. I like Vince Vaughn. He was funny. That dude was like, oh. You know, he, he, I don't know. The stuff he says, you know what I mean? It comes up with his accent. Like, the whole shebang, bro. He's just his own character. Like, you know, it's just the kind of guy you want to see in real life, like, talking to. Like, type of thing. <laughs> like, he's so funny. Um. What else? What else is a good movies uh, I seen growing up? Like uh, Mike Epps when he opens the potato chips. Yeah, what do you say? <laughs> Boy, I like me some potato chip. You know, I told you not to open the potato chip when you in stove. Well, on go, you have to keep on telling me that because I love potato chip. He's a <laughs> he's a man. You know what? You you get me. You get on my nerves, man. You know what, man? I'm about to go tell my homeboy Dwight. Dwight. Dwight who? Dwight, that's under your chin right there. He's uh, all. <laughs> what is that? Four to five. Third step. Two and four. Four to five. Third step. Four to five. Third step. <laughs> you hear me? <laughs> this dude's funny, boy. Let me tell you. Book him. What do you say? He's like, he's getting watched by the cops and stuff. Remember when he did, he's, out on the, he's like on that freaking, um, the yacht. He's way up there on top. He's like, you better catch me. I'm going to catch you. Just jump. Ah. <laughs> this dude falls straight on his back, dude. This is the funniest clip ever, bro. Bro, what else? Dude, yeah, Mike Epps is funny, bro. I'm not going to lie, bro. That dude's the same guy behind the camera and off camera. You know what I mean? That that kind of that kind of person make me want to be who I am too, cause he's got this like old oh man cool, you know what I mean? Straight up, bro. That's how I go, bro. And uh, shoot, what else? Motivational. I would say you go check out that Lakers. <laughs> yeah, the way he falls, he like goes like this. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny. What else was good? Oh, I was about to say some motivational movies. Oh, I like Stump the Yard. Stump the Yard was one of, like, when I started getting motivated, I watched movies like Step Up 2, um, Stomp the Yard, um, what else? Uh, there's so many of them, too. 
I don't know. There's so much good ones. Oh, you know what I like too? That movie, um, End of Watch. That movie was a good movie. What's up, Timmy? I'm gonna go ahead and send you a follow, bro. If you like the page, I'm glad. If you're just hopping on, it's cool. We're just kind of doing a little question and answer. Oh, Drumline, that's a good one. And Keon Davis, what's good? Keon is my cousin. And please don't take this personal, bro. This is just how we get down. Damn, what's up, baby girl? Get over here, give me some kiss. Mwah. Baby girl, I hope you're doing good. <laughs> Alright, just roll with me, bro. But my, my boy's back at home, bro. We be saying stupid stuff like that. People are like, is this dude, like, straight? You know, is this dude, you know what I mean? It's the surprise of the month, right? I bet he's saying that. He's real smart, Alec, too. I thought I was smart. You know, y'all think y'all bad at jokes, man. You guys are see the guys that know at home. Oh, man. They switch up on you so, oh, man. You don't even know, man. Oh, man. Hey, I miss you guys too, Keon. For real, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope the baby's doing good. Tell me how you guys are doing. Message me on, you know, Messenger and stuff like that. I want to know if they're doing good. For real, we ain't done yet. I'm still in my clean, sober stuff. So, but you know what I mean. I still want to keep in touch with my relationships. I can do the work, but I'm not trying to put work over my relationships because it's not good. I don't need to check in with my people. Let me know what's up. Okay, rents. I don't know. I haven't seen Rens. I haven't seen Rens. Drumline? Yes, Drumline. That, that movie was bad. Hey, you know what I mean? Is that Nick Cannon? Nick Cannon? Yeah, Nick Cannon was on there. <laughs> just make eye. Yeah, just make eye contact. You know what I mean? I'll try to make as much eye contact as I can. Okay? Here we go. I'm trying to be open, guys. Please, just bear with me, bro. I'm, I'm so tired right now, okay? Just marching on hot Cheetos. Yes, marching on hot Cheetos, marching on hot Cheetos, I meant to say. Oh, munching on Cheetos. Yeah, I, I, would, I would like to munch on hot Cheetos right now. Um, I can't, apparently. But if any of y'all could help me out with like $5 or something, I got a Zelle and a Cash App on my bio, I would love to get blessed with some hot Cheetos right now. Renton is about dancing. I'll check that out because I want to. I want to get into some movies too. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't too big on movies, but when I did see movies, like I said, they're based on true story. They're like good ending movies. You know what I mean? It was cool. I wasn't too big on movies though. A lot of people seen a lot of movies. You know what I mean? Maybe I can, like, their road warrior or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what they be on. But I don't be on that. Yeah, I just be on the real stuff. I only mess with the good stuff. I don't know. I, know. I don't even know when that ended up being cool. You know what I mean? Just revving your engine like that. You hear that guy out there? That guy living like he half his age, boy. That boy ain't even... That boy, like... 40 something. She I can have his age, bro. I tell you, you don't want that in America. You don't want it. That's the ugliest thing in America, being a grown ass man. A damn kid, bro. Don't do that. But yeah, here we go. Here's Rent. Here's Dancing. And to all the kids out there, please. Um, don't think I'm ignoring you. I just don't respond, and please only keep it 18 and older. Because um, I see some people like it, and I'm trying to follow up on who's on the page. I try to follow people who have a, a, a profile picture, some videos posted, you know, and, and, and comment good stuff. If it's appropriate, then I'll, I'll add it. But if it's not, I kind of got to let it go because, you know, it's just not... And it just don't, it just don't feel right. When you're 26 years old and you ain't got kids that's like not even 13 or 18 yet. You know what I mean? Like not even in their teenage yet and they're like still nine or something. It, it's going to look weird. You know, it's like, what? 
So, like, anybody out there, just know I do my videos on mental health matters. Um, it's basically um, all for my mental health. This is helping me as an individual grow. And uh, this is a God-given talent that I put a lot of my time and energy in. So, I do give it to the kids. It is for the kids, basically, at the end of the day, because they have the energy and they're just really inspired. They're not taught a lot of the stuff that's in the mainstream music that's played out today. So I try to keep it real with my viewers because there is West Coast music playing. You know, there's going to be Snoop Doggy Dog playing on your radio. No one's going to be able to control that. You know what I mean? But there's just times and places those things are to be played. You know what I mean? You don't play it on a Sunday and play Keep Your Heads Ringing. You know what I mean? Unless you really you are trying to get through your day. I mean, I understand that, but you know what I mean? At the same time, if there's kids around, you know, you can't be doing that, bro. Like, that's not cool anymore, bro. It's not it's not cool. It's like, you don't want some dumb stuff, bro. But people are going to still do it. That's what I'm saying. So understand that I, I'm rolling through this too, just like you guys are. If you're on the same page, then hey, we understand each other. And if you're not, so be it. You know what I mean? I can't even say. But yeah, um, I'm from Holbrook, Arizona. Originally, uh, what am I going to school for? I'm going to school for electromechanic technician. So when you call me, hi, this is Alex speaking. Hi, I got a call today that I need to go fix my AC or my ventilation. I was wondering if I can get a checkup. I'll be right there. Yeah, uh, give me about an hour. I'll be there around uh, twelve o'clock. Is that fine? Yep, that'll work. Okay, that is fine. We shall see you then. Okay, thank you so much in advance. Oh, you bet. Don't worry about it. We'll start. And it be like a commercial. <laughs> Alex. Electrician. Incorporated. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it be. Uh, what am I going to school for? I don't really smacking on it as much as sometimes. Yeah, I don't really snack on um, hot Cheetos like... Even like fast food and stuff, I don't really, I wasn't too fond of it. I'm more of a home cooked mm -hmm. meal guy. You know what I mean? I got a guy here at this house. Uh, my roommate, uh, Sean, <laughs> he's cool, man. He's Sean Begay. He's my brother, bro. And um, that dude can cook. Like, he can cook some straight. You know, he can get in the, he don't even care if the damn thing is just um, frozen straight off the dang uh, freezer. He'll go in there, he'll whip it right up in 10, 20 minutes. Be done. Ding! Be like, eat, that's not. And we're all eating, bro. We're like, we're all fed at the end. Like, there's still leftovers. Like, there's there's always leftovers, bro. Like, he don't let nobody go hungry in this house, bro. That's a real one, bro. <laughs> I tell you. I, I get to give him mad props, bro. Like, straight up. I don't think he credits himself too much for it, though. Like, I'd be like, dude, you can do this, bro. I'll sell you some munchy money. <laughs> that would be cool. You know what? That's cute. You know what I thought of when you said you'd send me some munchy money? My grandma used to do the same thing for me. My grandma Marianne, when me and my, my sister were in boarding school in uh, uh, Sun Valley Indian School, um, she used to give us $20. And I used to get these little bags of hot Cheetos and these little Gatorade bottles. And I used to eat those. And that's all I had. And I would, I would be thankful for my grandma for giving me the $20 because that's, that's all we could get. We weren't able to go to town to get anything. We were just in the middle of the desert. In a boarding school. And we went to school and we learned about God. We learned about the Bible. We learned about the scriptures. That's what we went to school for. So thank you. And anything that God gives you to give, please just, you can add me. I got that Zelle in there. I've got that Cash App in there. And whatever God's got, gave you to give, you know, I'm blessed with it. Thank you so much for you guys. Even just 11 11, you know. Uh, $11.11 if you've got just that, you know, you can help me and I can sell you a prayer for you if you guys got any prayer requests I'll definitely put that in my prayer request too this Sunday and I'll be able to do some prayers as well for you guys as well I'm always gonna be praying for you guys, okay? And my cash app. Yeah, it's right. It's um Homie Alec. I'll put it on the on the videos next time. So this is my cash app right here. It's Homie Alec. 
I'll put it in the comments as well for you guys if you guys want to go ahead and donate. That's fine too. Okay, the Zell number is going to be on there, okay? Um, if that doesn't work, you can also use my email, which is all lowercase Alec B. Gay, A L E C B E G A Y, number four at gmail.com. Okay, and thank you. And like I said, whatever God gives you to give, you know, it's just like that, that will help me. And I do not rob God, I am not fond of that, and uh, it's just not cool. My favorite TikToker, thank you, Bob Juice. Oh, yeah, nice to see you guys. I'm glad to be your favorite TikToker. That's cool, that warms my heart. I appreciate the warm messages and encouraging messages, it really makes me makes my day. You know, and sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, I don't want to get on live. I don't want to. I don't let people know what's going on, you know. But this helps me out a lot. Thank you, guys. It really goes a long way for me. Oh, man. So, yeah, the, um, the Cash App and the Zelle is right there. And the email is down here if you need. I'll go ahead and put this in there. And shout out to Tuba City. Man, I love to Tuba City. And thank you, Anna Creations. She's awesome. You guys, please, I'm going to go ahead and add her in the comments below. Please follow Anna and Family Creations because of the fact they have beautiful artwork and material that they use for their products. If you guys have any gifting ideas... And if you guys got any, you know, even shoes, she can design shoes. Uh, she can, she, anything, hat bands, hats, um, coats, jackets, jewelry even. She's getting into crafts of that sort and she works the shipping and mailing to you. So please get in touch with her, follow her on her page. She's got you covered and it's really good. Um, I'll see if I can do some more um, research on my videos I had in the past. I can repost them and tag her in there for you. Yes, thank you, Anna and the Family Creations. Bless you and your loved ones as well. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are always in good thoughts with me, and I will always be a fan of your artwork as well, and it's so much meaning from you guys as well. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging in there for me. I'm holding it down, you guys, all my viewers, all my newer uh, followers. I want to follow and be able to follow each and every one of you guys too, so um, I appreciate you guys. I'll go ahead and add you guys in the comments. Um, some of you guys on here, you have private accounts, so I'm not able to share your name on the live yet. So, um, I don't know. I'm really trying to be gentle with this, you know. This is, this, I'm not trying to take this for granted in other ways. You know, there's just people I know I meet, and they're, they're real people. And they're hard to come by, so you gotta hold on to them. Um, and these individuals have helped me in my life. Um, uh, and they've came a long way. They see me come, grow, you know. <laughs> But this is how we're growing, so uh, thank you again. I'm really blessed. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, you guys. Can I hold the paper up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we go. I'll go ahead and hold that there for a second. We'll go ahead and give this a uh, couple minutes. But, yeah, this is it right here. Um, hey, I enjoy your awesome videos. I, s I sent you snack money. Oh, you're awesome, Serena. I appreciate you. Here, let me go ahead and... um. I'm trying to, oh, I'm trying to, um, I'm trying to, uh, snapshot the, the picture here, <laughs> or screenshot, if you want, you can screenshot too, that is totally fine, if you guys can screenshot this, <sighs> okay, but each screenshot is one dollar, no, I'm just kidding, <laughs> that is crazy, I just thought about that. If people can download my videos and share them, you know, they can take them and do what they want with them, you know. It's, that's totally cool with me, you know what I mean? Uh, if you guys do, that that's fine. Um, video record me. I'll give my guys my consent, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's okay.
uh, cash app again is the dollar sign and homie alec it's all lowercase and then the zell is my phone number it's 928-423-7121 okay and if that doesn't go through on the zelly you can also try my uh, email account which i have logged in there it's all lowercase a l e c b e g a y 4 at gmail.com thank you and if anyone has any prayer requests you can put your name in the comments section below and I'll write your name down and I'll have my elders do some prayers for you okay we got you guys all covered there okay and thank you again Serena I appreciate you too as well Anna and Family Creations you guys always make my day and, and help me smile so thank you so much and also I can't forget oh yeah good to see you your prayers to take care good night yes Sharon what, what's the name and the church I attend is the Slavic church it's a Russian church so uh, there, there's so much we're learning and teaching each other along the way um, that we, we kind of are really interested so I'm I'm so excited about how this is taking off already and it's it's very scary how fast things are taking off but very well worth it excuse me for yawning that's just kind of my cue I gotta get get some rest but thank you Ray Ray as well um, uh, your cash app is a different is different than on your page there's an extra L. oh the cash app is different than the one that's on my page um let me see how that's gonna go maybe it's not right I gotta double check that Ray Ray but thank you Ray Ray for following and if you did send me anything um I would say just try to send one dollar first. Try to just send one dollar first, and that way I can confirm it, and then I can write you to let you know if it came in first. I'm sorry, sorry, guys. Oh, uh, yeah, I gotta work on that. I gotta double check that. I'm pretty sure it it was sent because I had received money from a couple friends from there, and it, it went through. Um, it worked perfectly fine for the Zelle or Zell. So. Yeah, I don't know if it's not working or, or, or how that works. Um, trying to like, I I gotta check it out because I mean I do have a cash app, so it should be under Homie Alec on there. Maybe I'll change it. Maybe I'll change that. I'm not too sure. Okay, we got Weasel coming in. You know, I'm. We're gonna go ahead and add the weasel in here. What's good, hey, what's weasel? Up, bro? What up, fam? Fam, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we're chilling, man. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of uh, putting my little thing up here, my cash app and all that. You know, getting my followers, viewers. Yo, if you guys want to show some love, love, show me some love, bro. Um, let's get a uh, some likes. If you tap your screen, you can go ahead and just tap that screen right there for me. And you'll go ahead and get that them likes going. We'll go ahead and get to a friendly competition here for the TikTok um, war. You know, like a tug of war, basically, or a liking uh, game here. You got it. Does your house accept outside food, like fry bread or homemade tortillas? Oh, yeah. I can accept them. However, I'd, I'd have That's to meet you outside. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they could accept outside food. Um, I can... Re I can arrange for a, a meetup date for that. Like, <laughs> I mean, obviously we were gonna do that. Um, but yeah, I definitely would. Yeah, we would accept it for sure. We would. We, yeah, we will accept outside food. It's encouraged, actually. Uh, if anything, Anna, thank you so much. And um, if you are, yeah, my 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 brothers here, we love us uh, some fried bread. We love uh, some like native uh, culture food. So we appreciate that. If if anything, you want to help do that. Please let me know. I'll definitely keep in touch and uh, keep you up in there and pinned, okay? Yeah. Oh, April Sherlock is my church in Mesa. Actually, by <laughs> what uh, 
my church is actually in Phoenix, Arizona. It's a Slavic church. It's a Russian church. And it's really cool. They have a translator. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So we got a battle going on with the weasel. Weasel just killing it right now, man. He's just got the likes. This is fine. That's good. Yeah, we're just having the, um, this is the kind of thing they do for TikTok. You can either tap the screen or you can send in your gifts. If you guys got any gifts that you can log in and add your account info on the gifts uh, section and you can be able to send roses and different stuff of that sort to me through there. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, all this money and stuff is is still going to be invested in something good, you know, whether it's helping me with my little munchies, you know, or either it can help me with the TikToks and help my videos get promoted so it can get to a larger audience. All right. And thank you so much. If you guys do, thank you for this to the uh, native crazy cat. Thank you, native crazy cat for the the roses. I appreciate it. They smell good. No. <laughs> No, they smell good. They smell good. No. Okay, so I got this rose, right? Ouch. Some say love. It is so real. Oh, the lucky. I don't think I have a rose, but this is a rose. Right I got this today. Oh, I mean, snap. Oh, snap, bro. Oh, snap, bro. We got the roses. Thank you, Anna. You're awesome. I smell the roses. I smell the roses. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, what do you, you say? I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. I'm gonna kiss the rose. Mwah. Bro, man, this is awesome, bro. I feel the roses. Oh, thank you guys. Ah, ah, I am dancing. What do you say? Hey, 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 hey. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, hey. Hey, adult, right there. That's Mississippi. That's Mississippi. That M I S S I S S I P P I. Need a break. Ooh, we gotta sage a break. Don't say it. Just sage it. Hey, we got the sage. Yes, yeah, so y'all just uh. Keep it Persian. Oh man, thank you guys, man. I'm feeling the love, oh, you guys. Thank you so me. much, Anna. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. Oh man, you guys are just. Oh man, I really. This is almost a shame, man. <laughs> Lord, man. Let me tell them. You guys are cool. Thank you. You're nice, cool. Yeah, Timmy. Um, you attend the Assembly of God in TC. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's Assembly of God in Tuba City. Okay. Amen, brother. Yeah, keep it up. Yes, get closer with your deity. If you have a deity out there, whether it's Kankachula, Buddha, Allah, you know, or a creator or spirit, whatever it may be, you guys, you go just do what you got to do. And Native Americans, the Indiana, you know, the holy people, and yourself, Twitch Ego, if it is to me, it is up to be, or if it is to be, it is up to me. If you guys are one of them, you know, you just, just believe in yourself. Don't never give up on yourself. Just be gentle with yourself and Think positive. Always focus on the positive things, regardless of what, how much negative is there, you know. So, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay with the win. You took the win. Okay, you got the dub. I'll take my L in private, homie. Oh, diggity. Man, y'all are good, bro. I hope y'all good. They sent money for the bag of hot for, for Cheetos. I found you. Ah. Thank you for the mic. Give some invitation. Yeah, invitation. 35, 27. <laughs> Mike Evans, man. All right, bro. All right, King. We'll catch you. We'll catch you later. All right, peace. Yeah, yeah. New Mexico in here, Montana, Mississippi. <laughs> we had some. Uh, anybody want any more movies? Anybody got any uh, motivational movies? You can put it in the in the comments below. Also, we all want a big shout out to Anna and the Family Creations. Um, for sending me some money for some munchies, that is awesome. I, I appreciate it. I, I I find it hard to ask even the littlest things sometimes. So I'm I'm so thankful you know for these things happening. I appreciate you guys. Uh, Ray Ray, yeah my my cash app is there. Oh yeah, if you guys want to do that, I, I'll try to keep this up right here. And um, yeah, it's just a uh, a lot of growth. I'm feeling the love. Thank you. Yeah, Tuba City, a Reztown, man. Yeah, I know. I, I have a brother. 
His name's Cornelson, and he's from Tuba City. So I, I want to congratulate him on his successes as well, and he's going into a uh, freshman year, I believe. So I'm, I'm glad he's promoted from the eighth grade. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm really a proud brother right now for all of my brothers and sisters out there. So it's cool. You go to church every Sunday? I try to. I try to devote my time for God, not just on Sunday, but every day. I try to devote at least 30 minutes to uh, an hour a day. Just meditating. Even when I wake up, I'll sit in bed for like the first two hours of the day and just think and talk to him first. Um, that's why I always have a good day because I started with him. Uh, oh, excuse me. And um, yeah, prayers for Grandma Anna, your mom. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely put that in there. Yeah, we'll put the prayers in there for Grandma, Mom, Anna. Yes, we'll, we'll definitely do some prayers for her. For Grandma Anna. Okay. And we'll do some for Ray Ray. Because she sent some to us. And her family. And I believe there was a crazy cat on here too. Uh, with the K. And senior names. Timmy. Timmy Lee Hand. Okay. Yeah, I'm 26 years old. Um, someone had asked me in the comments, what am 26 years old? If it looks like I'm just talking all crazy, I'm not. I'm just trying to respond to everyone at runtime. Also, Serena. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and send some to you. Serena, thank you for your prayers. And um, prayers do work. If anything, always say a prayer. Uh, it's it's a, it's a bliss. And, and to, to exist in the now and to be present, um, it, it's a blessing, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a privilege to be around you guys. And uh, if you guys got any other questions or you want to help out, you know, feel free to ask questions. I'm an open book. I want to get close with God. So if anyone's got any questions of, you know, what, what, what to suggest, I would suggest read the book of John first multiple times. Read it, read it, read it, learn, just read it. Um, that, that's what I'm kind of doing right now. I can't really say too much, but I do try to read at least a couple verses a day. Um, but yeah, I only, I try to keep one in my head too now because it's just so much. So I try to read one of Psalms or Proverbs and I'll keep it in my head. Just that one all day. Thank you guys. I appreciate you, Anna. What up, Sherlock? Yeah, that's good you guys are joining church. I, I That encourages me, you know. It's good, you know. And and to me, I believe God is real, okay? Um, I'm not in Prescott, Arizona. I'm sorry. Yeah. You went to Bradshaw High School? That's cool. I'm right down the road from Prescott, Arizona. I'm over here in uh, Phoenix. A little ways down the road, you know. But, yeah. Um, I've uh, definitely been familiar with the area. 928 gang Prescott. Okay, that's cool. Right on. Yeah, you guys stay up, man. Out there. Um, Prescott, shout out to Prescott. You know, uh, the thing I, I that stood out to me about Prescott was I went to a retreat in 2015 out there. Or 2018, excuse me. And that was fun. Very beautiful area. Seeing a lot of deers, uh, nature. Uh, they had a Alcoholics Anonymous retreat. It was awesome. We stayed for a weekend. They they catered the food. They catered the the is like a cafeteria, but it was like a nice good dining of any kind of food. We were just choosing whatever we wanted. We went out to the fire pits at night. They would go all night. People drinking coffee. There was food. There was groceries. There was you know anything we could think of. Lipton teas in a bottle. Dasani teas in a bottle. I'm talking like. Oranges and great everything you would think of granola bars nature valley. They were everywhere stocked up There's everyone was just taking whatever because there's just so much 
and all this is all self ran people just come and they, they do these and there's a lot of people that stay up at night smoking you know drinking coffee and just talking around the campfire and just catching up like it's cool like they're their own little cool little wolf pack those, those places change lives like for real you hear the coolest stuff people having meetings all night some of them are having a I mean some of them playing cards all night three in the morning guys just listening to music just chilling playing cards checkers whatever it be and just chilling there enjoying the now enjoying life you know sober it's, it's good it's good healthy guys with experience they just sit there you know 10 minutes of conversation with a man save you 10 years of study and that 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 right there saved my life that's why i like going to these retreats that's why i like going with these uh people because they tell me had i not known about aa when i was your age had i had i gotten in trouble when i was your age you know and i hear that a lot still like you still got your head on your shoulders Go do something with it. And that's, I guess I'm actually trying to do it. <laughs> it's all because of those people in AA, you know, those people that were, that were telling me that, you know. And it, it, at the time, it was because I had to. At, at the time, it was because I was court ordered, you know. Now it's like I'm trying to encourage myself to be a better person. And now I'm kind of understanding what they're, they're talking about. Now I understand what these sober livings are like. Now I understand what it takes to have willingness, you know, honesty, that kind of stuff, patience. And it works. They were right. They were right. And I wish, you know, sometimes I, I think they're still here. And those seats that aren't there in those meetings, I think they're there sitting there. You know, they're all, they're all around me. And they, they speak through me. You know, I can't tell them that in person no more. They're up there fighting the bigger spiritual war, <laughs> as they call it. But yeah, um, what's up from Phoenix, Arizona? What's up, Phoenix? What up, Phoenix? We chilling. I hope everyone's good in Phoenix. All love. Arizona love. What's good? Let's show these guys some love. You know, anybody out here in my comments, all my fans and friends, you guys want to follow each other, go right ahead. It's cool. We're all a little big family here. You know, ain't no shame and nothing. We're here. But same, same time, you know. Yeah, well, you just ramble, look. Ramble the whole look at the comments. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I tried to catch up with the comments. There's, oh, there's 61 new messages that came through. I didn't even know. Okay, there's 30 people so active. Okay, so let's do this real quick, okay? Let's do this. All right. Let's go. Having a good time, bro. Okay. Come on. Let me make Prescott look bad. Oh, Prescott. No, Prescott was good because Prescott had the Prescott fire in it. Okay, here I go rambling again. Man, ever since I got sober, I can't be quiet, though. Okay, so, okay, so Prescott fire, right? The, the wildfire remember they had that memorial with the um the guys he was like on meth and then he like he got crazy he like had these um like withdrawals and then he started learning how to be a firefighter he was learning all this stuff and then finally he was the only one that survived at the end like that type of stuff bro that's the type of stuff i'll be on bro like straight up bro all the homies all trying around some of them having kids and stuff and he had a kid and he was trying to take care of it and you know all this stuff was going on he's trying to work and get his life together that kind of stuff bro I love movies. That's a good movie. Only the Brave. If you guys want to watch a movie, it's called Only the Brave. Go check that out. Arizona. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Better go to Buckeyes Casino and gamble. Hop off this line. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll go to the casino. No, it's good. No, right now I'm, I'm refraining to go from bars, casinos, any type of get-togethers like that. Um, just to, just to get away from people, you know, um, right now I'm in a stage of my life where I'm kind of meditating myself away from those things to see what, uh, serenity and peace is really like, like, um, even my phone, even this little thing right here, I, I try not to get on it or nothing like that. It's just kind of crazy. Uh, but yeah, yeah, same thing. God bless you. Hey, thank you. I appreciate you. And I, I, I feel blessed. Thank you. You guys are blessed too. Oh, yes, yeah, Ersky. Press God in the house. Prescott native here. Okay, born and raised. What's good, Prescott? What's good? Yo. Okay, that's cool. Hey, bro. That's cool. We stay in touch with my, my profile. Though, straight up. We'll, we'll keep in touch, Prescott. Maybe we can do a video one day with, out there or something. I would like to go hiking at that memorial, too, by the way. I'm going to bring that up. Need more people like to be like you, for real, for real. I would like to, too, but the only thing I can do is just be humble, remain teachable, and hopefully this, you know, bounces off somebody else, you know. And, and to help them do the same thing, uh, improve as an individual, you know. Um, but it's really up to them. It's not me. I can lead a horse to water, but I can't force it to drink. You know what I mean? 
But yeah, uh, hello from Tuba, Dinosaur Tracks. Yeah, that was good. Hey, Tuba is in the house. You know, Ricky James, he's native. I don't know Ricky James, but I know Ricky Tan. No, I don't know Ricky James, actually. I'm sorry. I don't, uh, unfortunately. I don't know a Ricky James. Good night, and he'll I'll send that Zell now. How many in the house? I don't know how much the bot to drop. Oh, okay, the bot is going to be about where there's uh, one, two, three, four, five. There's five people in the house. There's five people that um, are here in the house. That are my roommates. They're roommates, yeah. They're here. So we got five. Where am I at? I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. Hopefully I see you around Tuba City sometime, bro. Don't mind. Cool. Are you dancing? The dancing guy? Oh, yeah. I'm the dancing guy. I'm the one who does the dancing. <laughs> I'm the one who does the dancing. You know, I'll be dancing, doing my thing. So, uh, you can catch me dancing if, if you see me on the street or something. Pray for me, bro. I just flew from Prescott to Atlanta. I need to turn myself into jail tomorrow. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and pray for you, man. I got you, man. And, and it's good you're doing the right thing. As long as you stay honest, you're going to get that time over. Just do the time. Knock out those numbers and get it done. You know what I mean? We got uh, Mad Max. Is that what it was? Yeah, I'll, I'll put in some prayers for you, man. Straight up. And have faith. Believe in yourself. And don't give up on yourself, bro. You know, there's levels to it. Just, just remain teachable. Stay to yourself. And just, you know, stay low key. And just ride it out. And just hold on. Be patient. You know, people are, people are going to be people sometimes. But that's just how it is, bro. Just tell them you're just doing your thing and getting out, you know. The north side, okay. We're gonna go ahead and send you a follow. Please keep in touch with me, man. Okay. You just posted a video uh, today marking being your 60 days sober and counting. Good job. Good job. Yo, I salute you, bro. High five. High five. That's good. Keep it up. Stay sober, guys. Yeah, if you're out there fighting the sober train, you know, keep it up, man. Yeah, thank you on my sobriety. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, that that is a success. Yeah, if you didn't drink today, you did it sober. You you did good. You won today. You know what I mean? So applaud yourself. You guys some credit for that. All right, I'm trying to catch up with the messages, so I can't really find out where I left off. Okay, yeah. And then Family Creations is going to drop off some bot. Okay, yeah. And I'll keep in touch with you. I'll give you the address, and then I can meet you somewhere. Um, right here in the front, yeah. We're going to send some good prayers to you, okay? Yeah, cool, okay. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow or see you around Tuba sometime, city bro. Uh, they don't mind, bro. Yeah, I don't mind. If I'm out there, I'll definitely go try to stay in touch. I don't usually have service out there, but if I do, you know, it, it ends up that way, then hey, man, I do. It's cool. Um, am I the dancing guy? Yeah, I'm the dancing guy. Uh, we'll go ahead and pr uh, pray for you, bro. Flew from Prescott to Atlanta. <sighs> okay. What did you do, AZ Fox 9 And that's up to you guys if you want to answer the questions I ask or if any of my followers ask, you know, it's cool. Me, I just kind of mind my business, so I'm not trying to ignore anybody. I just, I'm just a firm believer of uh, anonymity and like uh, confidentiality. So it's cool, you know what I mean? It's cool with me if it's cool with you. If, you know, mind over matter. If you don't mind, it don't matter. You know what I mean? I just keep it real with you. Um, come on for some mutton roast um, every Fridays. For real, yeah, I would come up for some mutton roast on Fridays, man. I might bring my boy over there, too. That's cool, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys. So, Warrior, what's good? Uh, sent you some baso. John is where I'm... Thank you, Tom and Lee. So I'm going to go ahead and snap you right there. I appreciate you guys so much. You know, this is not a flex. This is really, really talk. I, I appreciate you guys, like, helping me out with that. Okay? Oh, man. Blessings after blessings. Let's see, let's see, let's see. 
You got good man, God bless. Yes, good man, God bless. I'm about to like splash a piece out on you guys too, cause I gotta get some rest too. I got some stuff to do in the morning. I use that silver up to the slide. Oh, thank you, Angel Feather. I appreciate you guys so much. You're number one follower too. I remember you following me when I first started. You said drink ace to steal people's serenity. Oh yeah, that's not good to steal people's serenity. And you can't really steal love. You can't really take love or like like peace of mind. You can only give it, you know. You can't really take it. It's like a it's like a devil that tricked you. You know what I mean? The devil ain't even real. It's just you getting close to your creator and then knowing yourself. That's all it is. It's the biggest hoax that the devil even pray like put on people. He convinced us that he actually existed. Yes, I agree. I just got sober and I do slide back a little because my daughter just passed away. Oh, okay. Oh, no, honey. No, um, you know, no, I mean, like, I mean that in the most positive way, direct, you know. I'm, I'm really a southern hospitality kind of guy, so I come off a little, like, sweet or a little flirtatious. I'm not trying to do that right now. All jokes aside, my condolences are with you and your family and your, all your loved ones. It's not good when you uh, lose someone um, young, and especially someone that's dear to your heart, such as your own child. It's not fun, okay? I know I wouldn't wish that on nobody. So um, just just keep your heads up, okay? You're all taking, talking that, that talking way that cool. Ah, uh, uh, just outside of Tuba, down the way from Vance. Okay, congratulations on my sobriety. Thank you. Yes, 36 days sober. Yes. So. How's your poetry night? Well, tonight I was going to go. However, um, they do pay to get, get into the poetry slams. So it was like, I think $15 to get in. I didn't have the money, so I wasn't able to go in um, to the thing. And I was going to go last week, but I was in class and I had to catch up with my midterm. So I wasn't able to go to the actual class. Uh, I mean, the poetry slam. But I was invited to a, uh, a poetry slam get-together this weekend. So they got a show going on the 2nd, which is, I believe, tomorrow. Or I think, uh, yeah, I think tomorrow or, or this Sunday. So thank you. And if everyone, whoever, if you guys sent Cash App, if Cash App me or Zell me, thank you so much. God bless you guys. And I'll send some praise out to you guys. Hello from Kanta. Yes, Kanta. Hi. Ricky Tans owns Golden Rice and Tuba. Today, 60 sober and counting. Yes, keep keep counting. Yo, hiking K. We'll keep Mad Max in prayer too. Yes, thank you so much. Anna and Family Creations, bless you. Yes, you guys are killing two birds with one stone with your prayers. Thank you so much. And sobriety. Yes, sobriety is very a blessing. It's, it's to be cherished, you know, to be existing in the now. It's like being in the present is the is the thing now. It's the only it's the only thing. Peace of mind, remembering who you are. It's like, that's beautiful. That's probably like as rich as it gets out here. I've been uh, two and a half years, bro. Proud of you. Yes, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate it. It means a lot. What's up, Montana? Yeah, what's up, Montana? Hey, you're in rehab right now? That's good. Keep it up. Keep rehabilitating. All, all aboard on the sober train? That's good. That's good. Are you at Crossroads? No, I'm not at Crossroads. Um, yeah. Oh, that cute. You steak Navajo language. So as I. That's good. Yeah. It's it's good to know the language, you know. I'm still learning it. However, um, I'm going to learn some more words, you know. I got to get a, a Navajo dictionary, too. I'm going to try to get the Navajo dictionary. That way I can just learn to practice it. And the Hispanic dictionary as well. I'm probably going to have to go look into some Goodwills and look into some more of that. But yeah, thank you on my sobriety. I appreciate you. Yeah, I got my one, uh, my one month chip. Where did I put it? Well, actually, actually we yeah, I got the uh, my thirty day uh, NA right here, just for today. My Narcotics Anonymous uh, thing. This is my thirty day thing. So it's thirty six days today, going on thirty seven. So yeah, we're slowly counting, getting there. So I'm so happy. I'm getting that. Yeah, to me. I had to put on my necklace right now. Rock it. That's how we do narcotics anonymous, bro. I was selling narcotics, doing narcotics, turning psychotic. Yeah. So it was crazy, bro. 
But that's how it goes. And they ain't Native American. Alright, cool. Let's go. Nah, I'm just playing. But hey, yo, for real, I gotta, I gotta hurry up and read these messages, yo. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be uh, getting off of this real quick. But if any of you guys want some prayers, I'm gonna try to read what I can and, and do what I can right now, okay? Um, let me go ahead and just, uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and write these down. I got you guys already on there that sent me the, the money. I got you guys' names right there, front and back. And those prayers are gonna be sent out to you guys. And you guys are always gonna be in there. If you guys still wanna help me out, it's a cash app at dollar sign homie Alec all underscore or zell me at 928-423-7121 or you can email me at some money at that A L E C B E G A Y number four at gmail.com. And that's Alec B Gay4 at gmail.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys for your time and understanding. You guys are awesome. You guys make the world go around for me and just keep it up, okay? And don't give up on yourself. Hi, it's good to see you again. Hope we catch you dancing on the street again soon. Yes, no problem. You probably might, you know. <laughs> There's a good chance. But yeah, I guess I'll see you guys pretty soon. I can't wait to see you guys in person, if anything. Or try some hot tamales for me. Still hot tamales. I'm thankful for people speaking out loudly about sobriety. Yes, there's not many that do, but I am one of them, yes. Uh, be safe and good night, little brother. All day, yes, good night. Sweet dreams, guys. At the flea market sometimes, not all the time, yes. You're such a good dancer, I love it. Yes, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank God, you know, thank God for all this stuff. It's not me that does this, to keep in mind, this is all God. This is God's work, the same mind. I'm just doing His will. I'm just doing His will. Okay, I would never, I've never had the courage to post my video today if I didn't have people like you. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I'm going to take that in. Thank you so much. Um, good mood. And uh, let's see. Congratulations on your sobriety. My kids think a lot about you, so keep it up. So much love. Oh, that's awesome. That's sweet. Thank you. That's sweet. And please, thank you so much. And being there for, as a mother and, and uh, you know, those warm messages, they're really encouraging. Thank you. My crossroads. No, I'm not. Um, currently at crossroads. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Why did I say I'm sorry? Take care. All right, guys. I gotta go. Okay. I love you guys, and all the time. Okay. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later another time. All right. I really gotta go right now. My cash app is in the bio.